Good evening, everyone. I hope everyone's had a great day today. Just a few days ago, we announced the four phases of Project Pixie Dust, as well as our second theme park, Disney's Hollywood Adventure. Both of these projects are now under construction, and we can't wait for them to arrive in the future. Since the announcement, both Project Pixie Dust and Disney's Hollywood Adventure have had some developmental changes. While we aren't quite ready to announce the changes being made to Disney's Hollywood Adventure, we are ready to explain the updated plans for Project Pixie Dust. Starting off with Phase 1, 1900's Park Promenade and our character Cavalcades just recently opened and premiered at Disney Kingdom Park. And, as you all know, Haunted Mansion is on schedule to open on Sunday, January 10th. In addition to these, a new transportation system will arrive in the resort. Where the current parking lot stands, a new transportation hub called Disney's Transportation Center will feature two ways to travel to the theme park and in the future our resort hotels. The first being our bus system, which opened with the resort, and the new system being a gondola called Disney's Skyliner. Similar to the Walt Disney World version, the Disney Kingdom Skyliner will take guests to multiple places around the resort. When it opens, the system will have two stations, one at Disney's Transportation Center, and one at the Disney Kingdom Theme Park Esplanade, just outside of Disney Kingdom Park and the future site of Disney's Hollywood Adventure. Once our resort hotels open, the system will continue and have two new stops, one at each resort hotel. We can't wait for the most magical flight on MC Amusement Studios to debut in the very near future. And finally, the last part of Phase 1 will be a new castle stage show called Royal Princess Fanfare. This show will see multiple Disney princesses individually appear for guests right in front of Cinderella Castle. Phase 2 of Project Pixie Dust has had a few new additions added to it. The first part of Phase 2 will be the reimagining of Discovery River Cruise, which is closing on Monday, January 11th. The new attraction, called Jubilee River Cruise Going Down the Bayou, will be a new Princess and the Frog-themed river attraction, which we know our guests will love. The next additions in Phase 2 will be the long-awaited boat ride, Pirates of the Caribbean, and Festival of the Lion King. Each of these have both been teased since just after the park opened, and we can't wait for you all to finally get to experience both. A new addition to Phase 2 resides in Fantasyland. The mini adventures of Winnie the Pooh Dark Ride will close to make way for a new Cinderella-themed dark ride called Cinderella's Happily Ever After. Now, some of you might be wondering where Pooh and his friends will live after Cinderella's Happily Ever After opens. Well, their new home is the final piece of new information in Phase 2. The first new themed land to arrive in Disney Kingdom Park will reside just to the side of Fantasyland and will be called Hundred Acre Woods. The land's star attraction will be Splash Mountain Hundred Acre River Run, a new take on the classic Disney Park's flume attraction, this time themed to Winnie the Pooh. Phase 3 will begin with the opening of a second new land in Disney Kingdom Park, bringing the park's number of themed lands from 4 to 6. Now, who hasn't wanted to spend a day with Mary Poppins? Well, soon you will at Disney Kingdom Park. Cherry Tree Lane will be the sixth land in the park and will see us brought into the world of Mary Poppins. The main attraction of this land will be a fully immersive Mary Poppins themed dark ride called Mary Poppins' Practically Perfect Adventure. The other additions in Phase 3 are the same as they were before. The mini additions to Fantasyland, including Seven Dwarves Mine Train, Beauty and the Beast Live on Stage, Wishing Star Gardens, and our updated Mickey's Philhar Magic will open in that order, adding even more fantastic additions to the most magical land of them all. The fourth and final phase of Project Pixie Dust centers mainly around our two unopened resort hotels. Opening first will be Disney Kingdom Hotel, a Victorian-themed deluxe resort hotel. And opening second will be Disney's Legendary Years Hotel, a value resort hotel themed to the first half of the 20th century. With these two additions, the Disney's Kingdom Skyliner will also be extended to reach each resort. And the final piece of information of Project Pixie Dust will be the addition of Firework Farewells to Disney Kingdom Park. Firework Farewells will be multiple short firework shows, similar to our character Cavalcades, and will be perfect ways to end a visit to Disney Kingdom Park. We are so excited for Project Pixie Dust, and it will definitely make Disney Kingdom Resort a premier destination to visit on MC Amusement Studios as we prepare for our expansion into a second theme park. 
Thank you for listening, everyone. Have a magical day.